Until now, quantum computers have mostly lived at academic or government facilities because they had limited practical applications. But quantum computing is fast becoming commercially viable, and as a result, it needs its own real estate. A new report from JLL says significant real estate implications are, quote, on the horizon and on the scale of what we saw with AI and data centers. But quantum computers can't live in data centers now, at least not in the current ones. The racks and the physical form of a quantum computer are different, and they require electromagnetic shielding to prevent so-called noise, and that noise is any outside disturbance, be they electrical, magnetic, vibration, or sound. Now, since these computers are already at academic or government institutions, it makes sense that new commercial development will be concentrated in those regions where they have access to the academics and the trained workforce. The top 20 global quantum markets today have formed near national research centers and universities. In the U.S., that includes Chicago, Boston, New Haven, Connecticut, parts of Colorado and Maryland, and Southern California. Silicon Valley's SciQuantum chose a Chicago steel mill complex to open a facility funded primarily by the state of Illinois. Now, the Illinois Quantum and Microelectronics Park, developed by Related Midwest, is set to span 128 acres, or roughly 5.6 million square feet. And this is really just the beginning, the edge of what we're going to see in what is now being called quantum real estate. Now, we have much more of this in today's Property Play newsletter. If you haven't signed up, please do cnbc.com forward slash property play or use that QR code.